Kabiri's village in Lake Kapte sub county, Kasese district, is located along the Kasese Buela Road. The area is largely occupied by commercial farmers. The road creates a default boundary between the farming community and Queen Elizabeth National Park, sitting on about 765 square miles. Every evening along this road, it is common to see farmers strolling back and forth. One may not easily make out what they are up to until they hear their story. Here, men, women and children have given up sleep in a bid to protect their crops from wildlife, specifically elephants moving from the national park. We'll just sleep here till morning. In this rain? Yeah. Now, if we fear, our crops will be eaten. William Marai has been a farmer in Kabirizi for two years now. He grows cotton and maize on a rented hectare of land. From the time he plants his crops to the harvesting season, Marahi cannot afford to sleep at night. He has seen elephants countless times, destroying his and other farmers' crops. Because we are here looking for money. And when we sleep, we will be losing. Because for them, when they, when they reach an acre, within the twinkle of an eye, they will, it, it is finished. Sometimes the farmers manage to drive the elephants back to the park, but most times they get overwhelmed. Kama sisi kusawapa nini pesa zetu, hawezi tusaidia kunini, kungoja hizi tembo, kutusaidia kufukuza tembo, kukula chakula yetu. When they hear the huge animals approaching, they drum, make bonfires along the roadside, make noise, throw stones, and anything else that can scare the elephants so they return to the park. Isaac Kule, who lost almost an acre of maize last season, is worried. He faces uncertain future. Kule says they can only use the means at their disposal to ward off the elephants, but these have been ineffective. The elephant problem persists. Because we have no money to buy nani, those big nani, big torches, so we kiss them using stones. Huh? Stones on elephants? On, on elephants. <laughs> <laughs> And alarming and and those During the day, the elephants are this side of the park grazing, as you can see over there in a the distance. And in the night, they cross over and uh, go to destroy crops and every other property they come across. Now, residents are asking Uganda Wildlife Authority to come up with a lasting solution to stop these animals from crossing over to their areas. We dig trenches in hot spots where we know that elephants usually move out to raid people's crops. We dig like one meter deep and one meter wide. Elephants have short legs and they rarely jump over the trenches. We have sunk or excavated over 100 kilometers of elephant trenches in, uh, in uh, Queen Elizabeth protected area. But with more resources, now that we are identifying more hot spots like Kabirizi, I think with more resources, we have it in plan to dig more elephant trenches. We also encourage these communities to plant crops like, you know, red chili, because uh, these elephants are not friendly. Oh, no, they are, the, the red chili is a bit repellent to these animals. Fire has been more effective, but wood is costly. And on a rainy night, it is difficult to light the fire. So the farmers in distress form groups and patrol their gardens. But it is not possible to monitor the spots where the elephants cross from the park to the farmlands. The nights can be cold and dark. The farmers know that the elephants can also be dangerous to their lives. We can always do some compassion, some passionate maybe contribution, in, say in case of loss of lives, and we contribute to medical or burial uh, costs. But as for now, the law does not provide for compensation. At Nzirambi Orphanage, they have improvised the solar lights that can ignite an alarm once it senses any movement. The alarm has been effective. It alerts wildlife rangers at this post. Sometimes they shoot in the air to scare off the elephants. These two volunteer guards also alert the rangers with whistles the moment they spot elephants. <coughs> to be a farmer, a guard, and also be fatigued because of lack of sleep is not only a difficult call, but dangerous to one's health. Frank Walisimbi, NTV.